food shortage in China. Welcome back to our channel. Today we will be discussing the food shortages that are currently affecting the nation of China. In the previous video, we talked about the current food supply shortage that is currently affecting Europe and touched upon a few reasons this could be happening. If you haven't seen that video, click on the box that will appear on the upper right hand side of your screen to watch that before continuing with this one. Now that you're all caught up, we will now dive into our video for today. Being the world's most populated country, China has the most people to feed. Its population grew to 1.41 billion in 2020, accounting for about a sixth of its 7.9 billion inhabitants. Although population growth has slowed to its lowest level in history, President Xi Jinping realizes the necessity to address food security this year. The president said they were overseeing the development of one of the country's most populous regions and a major food basket for the country. China is attempting to become more robust and self-sufficient in the face of uncertainty after the pandemic and natural catastrophes endangered its food chain. Impact of Climate Change on China's Food Supply One of the greatest threats to China's food security is climate change. In July of last year, Henan province was hit by torrential rain and flooding, affecting 2.4 million acres of grain fields. The region is renowned as China's granary, since it generates a third of the country's wheat and a tenth of its maize, vegetable, and pig supplies. Even though the wheat season had ended, the harsh weather significantly impacted corn and vegetable output, with harvest yields expected to be down by at least 30% in almost half of the affected fields, according to the provincial administration. Summer floods swept across farms around the Yangtze River in 2020, devastating the key rice-producing regions, notably Hubei. The pandemic. But before we continue, go ahead and click the like and subscribe buttons. It takes a lot to make these videos. Your small actions tell YouTube to keep promoting our videos. Now back to the video. Following whispers of food shortages and even struggles over food during a lockdown in Shanghai, some Beijing residents have begun hoarding food in their homes if the city enforces one. In March, Shanghai began shutting down sections of the city and expanded to a citywide lockdown earlier this month. Food shortages, protests, and a deluge of messages asking for aid have all been reported due to the tight restrictions on transportation. During the lockdown, many inhabitants in that city had organized food supplies. There were also worries that the suspension of fast delivery service in some locations, road closures, and truck restrictions throughout provinces and towns would cause food supply networks to be disrupted. Potential Solutions Two of China's measures to combat food insecurity are campaigns against food waste and expanding the land area dedicated to agricultural cultivation. Other advances, such as seawater rice, Salt-tolerant strains bred by scientists to flourish in salty, alkaline soil are already impacting. According to tests, these strains, which are a crossbreed of high-yield rice and salt-resistant wild rice, generate better yields than regular types. According to a once-in-a-decade analysis of China's land use published in August, the country's total arable land was 1.28 million square kilometers by 2019, down roughly 6% from the previous 10-year period. That is just 13% of China's overall land area, and it is anticipated to shrink even more by 2030 as land is converted to urban and industrial zones. However, crops cannot thrive in a region the size of Egypt because salt limits plants' capacity to absorb water. According to CGTN, growing saltwater rice on only a tenth of the acreage would increase China's rice production by enough to feed 200 million people. Scientists at the Qingdao Saline Alkali Tolerant Rice Research and Development Center were given control of 4,000 square kilometers of land to plant the rice last year. However, it has yet to be fully implemented.